Good morning and welcome to our daily prayers on Tuesday. Perhaps for some of you this will be your first day back at work. If it is, I hope it's a good day and a gentle start back. If you tuned in yesterday, you will know that I'm using Richard Carter's Follow the Star Reflections. And today we are looking at the Magi and their wondering. What was it that made them journey to see Jesus? What would make you ready to leave security and familiarity behind in order to discover meaning? What fills you with wonder? Let's come to the God of wonder in worship now. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's reading is Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 6. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you in Bethlehem, sorry, but you Bethlehem in the land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. And this is Richard Carter's reflection. We all live under the same sky, but not all of us see its stars, its wonder. When my father died, he left me his prayer book. Prayers he had been saying all his life, even when multiple system atrophy robbed him of his physical strength. He never gave up on believing that this world was so beautiful he didn't want to leave it. I want to find out what happens to all of you. And the prayer of love continues in heaven. In his prayer book, he had written a list of eye-openers, which included Paul Cezanne, the Dorset Hills, St Francis of Assisi, and last of all, the name of my mother. I was so pleased she was on his list. Everyone lived under that star, but only the Magi followed it and had their eyes opened. I wonder, what or who are your eye-openers? What leads you to Jesus? And how will meeting him change your journey? Our prayer today is taken from Psalm 8. When I consider your heavens, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what are mortals, mere human beings, that you should seek them out? So let's t uh, come to God with space for our petitions. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. And the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.